So I've been getting some questions lately about whether JWT tokens are good for authentication and storing session data in a application. So I want to kind of talk about why I haven't been using JWT tokens for that, what I've been using instead, and just some of my general thoughts uh, on this topic. Because I've been thinking a lot about authentication lately, and so I just wanted to clarify my opinion on everything. So the first thing that I wanted to start with was kind of just talk about one of the cool parts of JWT tokens, or why it is uh, the advantage it has compared to what I'm currently doing. So the big thing about JWT tokens that is handy is you can actually store data inside the token. So this is what a JWT token looks like. We can see this purple part here, and we can see here's the data stored um, that's being encoded in this token. So basically, oops, basically what you can do is if you want to store some data on a user, you can stick it in a JWT token, and then when you send that JWT token to your server, you can decode it, verify it, and you can use that data there. Now compare, to the, compare this to what I'm currently doing, which is server-side sessions. Now with this, what I'm doing is I'm storing the data that, I'm, that I want to store on the user, say whether they're logged in or not, um, in a database, or I lately have been using Redis because it is faster. And what happens is every time a user makes a request to my server, I'll look at their cookie, um, and I'll take that cookie, grab the session ID, and I will look up the data in Redis or database, and it will send me back session data on the user. So basically with JWT tokens, you can skip this whole step in the middle where you have to fetch data from the database or from Redis, which is quite handy. So now with that said, why am I using this method over JWT tokens right now? So there are some cons to JWT tokens. Um, and I've read a lot on this topic. One of the articles that I quite like is this one, and I'll link it below. There's also a video that I like. Um, and the one thing that uh, has I've taken from this that I think is when it comes to JWT tokens is how you revoke them. And so what I mean by revoking is situations where maybe an account is compromised, um, maybe someone steals your account, and you want to be basically log them out of your account and change your password. So you want to be able to get rid of all the sessions the user is currently using. Um, so how do you do that? With JWT tokens, by default, there is no way to revoke them um, because they are time-based. Basically, a JWT token is valid for a year, 15 minutes, you get to choose, um, but you can't revoke it early, basically. So if I make a JWT token for a week, and then after a day, someone compromises the account. Um, if I didn't implement anything else, I cannot revoke the JWT token until the week is over, or basically the token will be valid until the week is over. Now, with that said, you can actually implement methods to uh, be able to revoke keys, say keeping a blacklist or a whitelist of all the valid tokens. Um, but the problem that scenario is, then you're just re-implementing sessions, basically. So if I'm storing whether these tokens, like maybe I'll have a list of all the tokens that are, for example, blacklisted or have been revoked early. So then every time someone makes a request, I would basically check the JWT token in the database and see whether it's been revoked or not. Um, in that case, I'm basically doing the same thing with sessions. Um, and so I think the complexity basically implementing that uh, you're not uh, it's not worth it I think it is very simple to set up sessions this is what it looks like in my applications so we just basically create a session option object we just pass in our options of what we want how we want the session to work in this case I'm saying just a session keep it alive for seven years um, and then whenever I want to add data on that user say log them in um, I would just say session, and I'm here, I'm storing the user ID of the user inside the session, um, and that's it. It's very simple code, and it's because I'm just using a session library that's very good. So why, um, why that's pretty much why I'm choosing to use server-side sessions, is because they're just way simpler than implementing my own JWT token setup, um, which includes revoking tokens. Now with that said, it's not that I dislike JWT tokens or don't think you should use them. I think they have a bunch of great use cases. And there's also a way that I actually like that is better than sessions, but it's slightly more complex to set up. 
but it's where you use a refresh token and you have, which is like a longer lived token. So maybe this token lasts for a year or something. And then you have a short lived token, which is like 15 minutes or something. And so you only check whether the token is blacklisted every 15 minutes. So this saves you still a bunch of computations because let's say I make a hundred requests in 15 minutes using server side sessions. I'm going to hit Redis or my database a hundred times just to look up the same session over and over and over again. So if I use refresh tokens and uh, the short lived token and the long lived token, and I don't look up whether the token is expired, except when I'm refreshing it for 15 minutes, if I make a hundred requests, I'm only doing one uh, look up to the server, at least for the session to make sure everything is not revoked. So I think I may be doing a video about that soonish, um, just to show you a, what a JWT, uh, I guess a way that I like. Um, but with that said, for most applications, uh, microservices is another one where yes, JWT tokens are very handy, but if you're just doing a basic application, I think it is just way simpler to start with sessions, um, and use that. And that'll take you a very long way with, uh, much less work. And especially when it comes to authentication, I like to use as little code or uh, add as little complexity as possible to that um, when I'm dealing with that. Anyway, so that is kind of why I haven't been using JWT tokens. I found it just to be a little bit simpler to use server-side sessions. Um, but with that said, you can definitely get a good setup with JWT tokens, and I wouldn't say stop using them if you are currently using them.